Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and compare the iPhone 14 against the iPhone 12 Pro and see which specific phone is a better one for you. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there. You can also support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off side by side, you can definitely tell that both these phones look almost identical. You probably don't even know which one is which. But the iPhone 12 Pro is on the left. This phone came out in 2020, and this was like a flagship phone of that time and I liked it but it did have a few issues which we'll get into in this video but I will tell you the display on this phone is still really good it's a 1080p panel Super Retina XR OLED panel both these phones have the same size displays but I do think the 12 Pro is a better looking display and they're both at 60 hertz but I don't know like this 60 hertz is still very smooth for an iPhone so I'll definitely tell you this panel still looks very good you still have the notch up top too I don't know if you can tell from the specific wallpaper I have on the iPhone 14 on the other hand same exact display size so we have a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display as well now personally I do think that this specific display doesn't look as good as a 12 pro i don't know what it is maybe it's just my eyes or something but this panel gets very bright it has a smaller notch overall and overall it's still a good looking phone you know both of them kind of look exactly the same on the front so it's really not that big of a difference if i'm being honest in terms of thinness and thickness uh, even more similarities so between both you're getting kind of the same exact thing so you can see between both i mean volume up and down which is nice you're getting this type of you know ringers on off switch which is in two different spots which is very interesting but the weirder thing is first of all great design on the iphone 12 pro it's like this silver like metallic thing aluminum whatever it is but at the very bottom you see the lack of sim card tray on the iphone 14. very unfortunate i love having a sim card tray it's weird that that's now gone on the iphone 14 so very very strange but it is what it is it's whatever we'll get used to it and on the back a little bit of a different camera setup as well dual camera setup on the iphone 14. the 12 pro has a triple camera setup wide ultra wide and telephoto lens with a lidar sensor too which is really nice now we'll get into the cameras in a second another big difference is with the glass backs so we're getting the standard glass back on the iphone 12 14 this looks so much like my iphone 12 on the back of the iphone 14 standard glass back the 12 pro has this frosted glass back which when i tell you it's a pretty big difference i love this feeling the 12 pro still feels like a thousand dollar phone the 14 feels still good it feels like a 600 hundred dollar phone or 500 hundred dollar phone to be honest the 12 pro still feels like a very premium phone when it comes down to it so definitely some really big advantages there now on top of that on the iphone 12 pro and the with the 14 you're getting magsafe capability on the back with wireless charging you're getting 5g support on both i think yeah you're getting 5g support on both whatever lightning ports at the bottom ip certification you're getting crash detection on the iphone 14 you're getting emergency sos satellite mode on the iphone 14 as well so overall you're getting some really cool features for the 14 but the build quality is still very very good and better on the iphone 12 pro when it comes down to it now on top of that some other big things with the 12 pro when it comes down to the longevity and how long these phones are going to be supported for because this phone came out in 2020 it's two years old as of this point it may not last as long as the 14 i think that's kind of a given so the 14 is definitely going to outlast the iphone 12 pro how long it's going to outlast it by i'm not too sure you know it may be a year maybe two years could be five years who knows you know it could be any time but one thing i do know for sure the iphone 14 is probably going to outlast the iphone 12 pro but that doesn't mean this phone's going to be outdated tomorrow this phone is still going to be supported for many many more years to come so if you're going from one phone to the other i wouldn't do it because the oh this one's going to last longer or whatever there may be something else you like about this phone which so far i don't really know too many right now between these two but if you're going from one phone to the other, do keep in mind that 12 Pro does kind of, you know, it's still going to be a lot supportive for quite a bit of time. So that kind of covers it up there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 12 Pro has that Apple A14 bonding chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. Where the iPhone 14 has that Apple A15 bonding chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. Very, very funny. So let's get into it. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing, music 321. The 12 Pro is on the left, the iPhone 14 is on the right, right here. And two different pop ups. This is the first time I've seen this pop up on this. I don't know why we got even got into there. And let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go do podcast 321. About the same thing, settings 321. Totally messed that one up. And one thing I did kind of see is that going into the application seemed a little bit more glitchier on the iPhone 12 Pro. Maybe it's just me, App Store 321. Let's go and see how this one goes kind of the same thing 14 was slightly faster but it was like almost identical between both scrolling through kind of the same thing again 60 hertz on panels on both so there's not going to be a big smoothness factor clock three two one about the same thing camera three two one let's take a photo 
Let's go and open up that photo. Pretty much the same thing too. Again, it seems a little more glitchy on the 12 Pro. Photos, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and hop out of here. As always, we have a bunch of these third-party applications we can go and get into. And I don't even know where these apps are. Okay, so let's do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, two different kind of things on both, but almost identical. So this is going to be very, very interesting between both of them. And it was like almost the same exact thing between both, so not that big of a difference there. Let's go and try Subway Surfers, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 12 Pro was a little bit slower here by quite a bit. Not quite a bit, I mean, it's not like the biggest difference ever, but it is one of those things. Now, let's go and get into this game and see if there's a difference. And I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference. Funny, we have the like, exact same tutorial on both. Whatever, pretty much the same type of gameplay, I would assume, for this type of game. I do wish I had Genshin Impact, which I do not have, which is unfortunate. Let's do Spotify, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go and hop out of here. Let's go and do Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. 12 Pro is actually a little bit faster there, very, very funny. Files, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Shortcuts, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and I think, honestly, when it kind of comes up to it, I think the 14 is probably going to be more times than not the faster one, but it's only going to happen if you're kind of, like, one thing I'm noticing is, like, the glitchiness sometimes if I'm hopping out of an application of the 12 Pro. Other than that, like, I'm expecting the 14 to be faster. There were sometimes the 14 was slower, which was very, very weird. Other than that, though, I think the 14 is definitely going to be the faster one. It's also going to be a little bit smoother one. The biggest thing for me personally was like the smoothness factor from the 12 Pro to the 14. So that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the camera setups, like I mentioned before, dual camera setup on the iPhone 14, triple camera setup on the 12 Pro. You're getting 4K at 6 down front and the back, but you're getting a few more features for the 14, but you're also getting some features in the 12 Pro. Now, with this one, you know, I actually use this phone for about a year. And it was a pretty good experience for the camera side of things. You have that, you know, 10x zoom zooming in. You have that 0.5x zoom zooming out. You still have things like portrait mode and standard video mode. And overall, it's a pretty good camera. Is it perfect? I mean, for that time, it wasn't really that bad. Like, the only thing it's missing now are the modes that the 14 has. But other than that, this is still a pretty good camera. You can get some really good photos from it. And I've taken some really good photos on this specific camera other than those ones. And also tell you, yeah, for sure, this is still a very solid camera for sure. With the 14, though, ever since the 13 series, they've been really upgrading their cameras by a little bit. And I will say this one has bigger lenses, which is really interesting. But this one also has a really solid array of more features than the 12 Pro. So you have standard video mode, but you have this new cinematic mode, which is really cool. So this allows you to basically get a, like a blurred out effect between a photo. It's not going to work here. But you also have video mode where you can go and do this new feature called action mode, which basically stabilizes the video out a lot. So if you're running or something in a video or whatever, it's going to basically stabilize that video out a lot more. So that's pertinent and key, a key feature for the 14s, which I'm really happy to see that, you know, brought over. And you still have things like portrait mode, panorama mode, and all that other stuff. But I think when it comes down to it, the 14 definitely by far has a better camera than the 12 Pro. But the 12 Pro still has a very, very good camera as well. So now to kind of sum up this video, I will tell you in my opinion, the 14 is the better phone here. It's, a, I would say it's probably a little bit better, but if the 14 was a 10 out of 10, the 12 Pro is probably like a nine out of 10, if I'm being honest. Like there's a few things like the battery health degradation on the 12 Pros. Other than that, I think the 14 is the better phone, even though it's lacking an extra sensor on the back. The 12 Pro though, I mean, you're still getting a really good phone. You know, with the build quality is better on this phone. It's a cheaper phone now than the 14. It's probably, like I said, like 90% with better like ninety percent of what the iPhone fourteen is. The only thing it's missing is maybe like the camera features here and there. It's a little bit of a less smooth device, but it's still a very smooth device too. It's not going to last as long as the fourteen, and maybe performance is better on the fourteen. But other than that, and battery life is going to be better on the fourteen. But other than that, I think the twelve Pro is still a very very good phone when it comes down to it. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to all